We know many parents are nervous about the upcoming school year, and we want to help you and your family make the best decision about going safely back to school. So all week we're sharing different ideas to help you decide what's best for your family. 23 ABC's Daniela Garrido joins us live after speaking with the deputy superintendent of the Bakersfield City School District with their plans for distance learning materials and funding. Daniela. Good morning. Well, the next two weeks are going to be very busy for the Bakersfield City School District. They say that now that they have the funding in place, it's all about getting those Chromebooks and those Wi-Fi hotspots to the students to prepare them for those first day of classes. The Bakersfield City School District is one of the largest school districts in California, and they're allocating $14 million from the state's budget to use toward distance learning for the fall semester. That is 31,000 devices. That is up to 31,000 hotspots. So it is a significant amount of, of money and a commitment from our district, but um, we are rising to the challenge. We'll make sure all of our kids are equipped um, for a successful start to the school year. Senate Bill 98, which passed in July, approved a $202 billion budget for California public schools during the coronavirus pandemic. We feel ready for the start of the school year. We have our resources and our systems and structures in place, um, but the next two weeks certainly will be fast paced as we finalize uh, our information for parents and distribute all of our resources to students. In the next two weeks, each student will pick up a Chromebook laptop, a personal Wi-Fi hotspot, and classroom materials. One of the requirements of Senate Bill 98 and the updates to education code requires school dis districts to provide devices and connectivity to every child. But in addition to that, all of the textbooks and workbooks that our students would use in the classroom um, will be part of what they take home as well. Senate Bill 98 also emphasized student to teacher interaction for a virtual school day. The state is requiring a, a minimum of four hours of instruction daily for grade graders. And so that will be uh, made up of both live in person instruction and um, some assigned work that kids will work on independently. Classes will have to include in-person live lectures and both independent and group work. We expect our teachers to provide uh, at least three opportunities to measure engagement by completing assignments. So there'll be an assignment in the, in the morning, midday, in the afternoon to ensure that kids are remaining engaged. Now, we also reached out to the Kern High School District, and they say they're going to be giving out 5,000 more Chromebooks for this semester than the 4,300 Chromebooks that they gave away at the end of last spring semester. So that's a lot that's going to go into place in making sure that these kids are prepared for the first day of classes. We're going to continue to bring you these type of education stories all week so you can head back to school safely. For now, we're live in Bakersfield. I'm Janelle Garrido, 23 ABC News, connecting you.